Derry City is celebrating a new accolade after becoming a leading digital city. BT has announced that all street cabinets serving customers within Derry City have now been upgraded with fibre broadband technology, propelling Derry ahead of all other cities in the UK and Ireland. The extensive rollout of this next-generation broadband technology is a key commitment that BT announced as part of its five-year, multi-million pound partnership of the City of Culture 2013. It also builds on BT's investment in the Next Generation Broadband project, which it delivered on behalf of the Department of Enterprise, Trade and Investment. Well, telecoms uh, is really one of the crown jewels, if you like, of our infrastructure here in Northern Ireland. And we certainly want to be ahead of all of the other regions. And uh, I think we're recognised as being so because of the investment that has gone in uh, to fibre, uh, to next generation, to bringing faster speeds to rural areas. And what's important for us, we're a very small and medium sized based economy and therefore we need to be able to uh, facilitate our small businesses no matter where they are in Northern Ireland and that's why the rollout of fibre is so important. The transformational technology will help Derry realise its ambition to be a creative and digitally connected city. As part of the regeneration plan we've identified digital connectivity in a city that's peripheral uh, where up to now geography mattered. It no longer matters, we're now the centre of the world, we're not on the edge of it. Um, so the fact that BT came in uh, very strongly when we went for the City of Culture designation, when we said we were going to be the UK Digital Cultural Champion, they were there at our side. That makes our dream a reality. We will be the first digital superfast broadband city in the island of Ireland and indeed the UK and we're so proud of that and that just gives us a product that we now can go to market but also is about the community getting engaged digitally and about digital inclusion so the city is genuinely digital. Already there are key infrastructural pieces that are being coming into place all on the back or on the, of City of Culture being the catalyst for all of this. And I think given the modern situation we're in, the modern econo economic climate of a recession, I think it's crucially important that businesses here have every advantage and have every aid that they can get. And having that high-speed connectivity that BT has given us will be a tremendous boost to the local economy. With 100% of street cabinets in Derry City now upgraded with fibre to the cabinet technology, Thousands of homes and businesses can experience download speeds of up to 40 megabytes per second, increasing to up to 80 megabytes per second by next year. Importantly, this technology drives choice and competition because it is delivered on an open access basis to allow other broadband service providers to access the network. We are completely delighted with this uh, announcement today by BT to have such a world leader, a world class organisation company coming in behind the city in such a magnificent way. Um, it's just absolutely brilliant. It's a great investment opportunity for people coming in as an attraction coming into the city and for the existing businesses in the city. It's a real good news story. Businesses and consumers in Derry are already experiencing the benefits of superfast broadband. With the broadband and just with you know the economic downturn, we're having to change our business model quite a bit. Um, but in saying that, I would say we're we're taking the approach we're embracing new technology, and we are we're going into areas where we feel we'll make more money. And having the broadband means that we can compete against anyone. You know, then it's it's good because it's then it's back down to when the technology um, becomes a level playing field, then the competitive edge then is back into your staff, and you know, so you're not competing on price again. You're competing on creativity. You're competing on uh, knowledge. You know, so it's it's uh, it's looking good for us. I would say, if this hadn't have happened within two or three years, we wouldn't have been able to stay here. We would have had to move in the, uh, an area that had a higher speed, basically because we would have been playing catch-up and trying to compete against all our businesses that are in cities, and uh, we would have had to move. Broadband also plays a key role in social development, and through its Connected Communities programme, BT is partnering with voluntary organisations to provide a suite of information and communications technology resources for communities to help them get online and harness the power of the internet. Well I think it's very important that those who are 
uh, operating within any community recognise that they have got social responsibilities to that community. And I think given that Derry is facing into what I believe will be a very exciting period for it over the course of the next while, and particularly in the context of 2013, it's hugely important that those companies who are presently there and who have benefited from the skills of the people in the city recognise that they have got social responsibilities to make their own contribution. And I'm very pleased to see that uh, a number of companies, including BT, are prepared to do that. We're actually now in a position to offer first class programmes. You know, our young people now have access to high speed download data and software that, that we wouldn't be able to provide for them and they obviously wouldn't be able to access anywhere locally within this area. When we received the word that we were successful in being selected to be part of this programme. The fact that an organisation as big as BT are coming down and looking at our work and saying, you know, these are actually doing a very good job here, gives you a reason to come in to work in the morning and you're being recognised for the work that you're putting on in the community and voluntary sector. And we are very, very thankful. As I say, financially, we would never have been able to do this. BT has allowed us and enabled us to provide better facilities for the residents of this community. A crucial part of the technological advances that are taking place, if we as a society aren't mindful of the fact that there could be a divide between the people who have access and the people who don't have access, um, I think we get less benefit from this than we should. One of the great um, benefits of this technology is by making it accessible to everyone, it can have an impact on everybody's lives and not just a select few.